extend my loving greetings to everyone who is listening to this devotion from the word of god let us turn to the book of genesis chapter 35 the topic is starts in me in chapter 34 we can read about the great massacre and crisis that happened due to jacob's disobedience he needed separation from the world So in this chapter verse 1 we read the merciful God going after him appearing to him and asking him again to arise get out of there go to Bethel and dwell there and make an altar unto God who first appeared to him when he fled from the face of Esau his brother This time he obeyed as a changed person after facing the consequences of his disobedience and self will now a new man He determined not to live according to his old name, Jacob, a deceiver, but according to his new name, Israel, which means God rules. He, in repentance, obeyed the Lord God. Now, as the head of the family in verse 2, he took the responsibility and leadership in the family in getting them all ready to go to Bethel, which he failed to do in the past. His son. sons took the matter in their own hands and brought shame and disgrace to god and the children of god but now as a new person his new and changed life was clearly evident in his actions first he asked everyone in the family to get rid of all kinds of idols then he asked everyone to be cleansed then to change their garments all worldly filthiness all sinful conducts and characters habits that were clinging close to them from head to the toes like a garment had to be changed hebrews 12:1 we are able to read lay aside every weight and move forward looking on to jesus everyone in the family was asked to be cleansed from inside out then he commanded them to arise from their place where they were not to dwell in that place anymore god did not want them to stay there he told them to go up told them that the whole family was going to go up to bethel as god commanded them god commanded especially jacob to go up to Bethel. The family did not question him. They are respected and obeyed him. He spoke with power and authority from God as a new man of God. This time he was not passive at all. He learned his lesson after the horrible and disgraceful incident of cruel mass murder by his sons. Because of his lack of interest in the spiritual matters and in the leadership of the family, He also told the family that he has purposed to build an altar in Bethel to worship the Lord. So the family did as he ordered them to do. Had put away all the strange gods, cleansed themselves and they journeyed and went up to Bethel. God protected them. They came to Bethel as God commanded. God appeared to him again. We read in verse 3. Nine, I reminded him of his new name. God promised him great blessings and then God went up from him. He built an altar there and did honor and worship the Lord God. As a result, his children also followed the same path. The Lord always was seeking after Jacob. He never allowed him to be left alone, even though he walked very far away from the Lord, living in misery and distress, in fear and frustration. He became a new person when he surrendered his life to the Lord in obedience. And he was blessed with more blessings. The Lord used the tragic events in his life 
the mass murdering of men by his sons to prepare him to return to Bethel. So it was appropriate that he built an altar for God and worshipped the Lord who protected him from his brother and from his enemies, even protecting the whole family. Grace covered them even though their sins of massacre made them very vulnerable. Dear my sisters, if God is for us, who can be against us? Even if we rebel against God, the Lord is for us. What a marvelous grace of God. This time, Jacob put his total trust in God. The Lord God had to confront him again and again and remind him of his new name. And Jacob remembered and was convicted of his sin. Beautiful power restoration of a believer. Powerful restoration of a believer. Remember, repent. Return and do the first work. He became a changed person, became the heir of the covenant blessings of God. The blessings of his grandfather, Abraham, went down to his father Isaac and now down to his son, to Jacob himself. He offered the drink offering, the sacrificial offering, by pouring out the oil in gratitude and joy. God blessed him with even more future blessings. God is not done with Jacob. Greater blessings in store for him. His remarkable change in his life and his return to Bethel had positively influenced his children. Dear my sisters, the best thing that we can offer to our children is to be a good role model to our children. Parents can influence their children either positively or negatively. We should live godly to gain our children for Christ. May we live up to our new name, our calling. Revival of our memory of our first love is much needed. Should never go back to the old way of sinful life. Our lives should be constantly committed to loving and serving the Lord in total obedience, not serving the world by getting absorbed in the worldly life. We need to do a thorough inventory of our lives every day and get rid of all kinds of idols and unclean things. Our merciful Lord never leaves us. His compassion never fails. He patiently waits for our return. Believers and unbelievers alike, he loves the whole humanity. But we should not test our Lord and his patience and provoke him to act against us. As believers, as the new Jacob did, we must in obedience take immediate action to the word of God. May we repent and return to Bethel, to the presence of God, to our first love. Loving the Lord Jesus Christ for who he is and what he has done for us. He is going to do even much greater things for us in the future that no eyes have ever seen nor ears have ever heard of. Our Lord remains faithful to all his promises. The Lord of Jacob is our Lord too. Jacob, the most unlikely and unworthy person, God molded and shaped him into a vessel of honor and glory. May we pray for a great revival in the life of each one of us, including me. God wants us to live up to our new name. As sons and daughters of God, priests and heir of God's kingdom, as co laborers with Christ. The safest thing for us is to constantly remember our name and live in obedience to the word. Jesus is the answer to all our problems. If we are away from our Lord, may we re-surrender and recommit our lives to Lord Jesus. 
returned Bethel in humble obedience. If any of you who are not following Jesus Christ, may you repent of your sins and return to Jesus Christ in obedience. May this small devotion be a blessing to each one of us. Amen.